Hi all, welcome to the Webido platform. Let's learn about the blog element. We have two options for the blog element here. In the left side, you will get the blog element drop down is here. And here in the header side, you will get this blog element also. So in this blog drop down, we have multiple templates are available for the blog. You can use according to your requirements. You can use any one of them. So to use this blog element, you need to just drag and drop it to the page from here like this and to design this blog element we have properties panel in this properties panel we have manage option uh, available to manage this blog and here we have categories to display option you can display these blogs to different categories you can use these uh, default categories like design and web from here or you can add new categories from here we have option to add new categories also so so this is the post per page option is available you can choose you can use any page and here is the columns option you can add multiple columns here like this I have added five columns here and this is the column mobile option you can add the any columns for the mobile option from here and here we have different properties are available to design this block for example you can manage Man, you can manage the main image from here to change the properties for the main image you will get these properties here to change the date to change if you want to change this date on the block you can change it from here or you you will get the properties to design date from here also now this is the title you can change the title properties from here we have different options like description read more button here and separator and pagination if i want to design this main image so here we have image fittings options like cover content or or original size like this you can change the fitting of the image from here this is the image width you can change the image width from here this is image height you can change image height from here and this is the border radius if you want to change the padding you have option here this is how you can change the properties of this main image now to change the properties of this date you can change it from here you can change the textile as default normal or page title or title like this you can change the text title of this date or you can change the margin top from here or you can change the date format also we have different types of date formats are available here you can use any one of them and now to design the title of this blog we have here properties like text title you can use any one text style from here we have multiple styles like normal page title title you can use any one of them if i use title then it will be changed here now this is the margin top you can you change the margin top from here and the title length also you can change here from title length uh, and this is the border bottom width you can change border bottom width here and the same properties are available for the description also you can set the text style margin top background color description length from here and this is the 
read mode button available here this is the read mode for this read mode button also we have different properties available to design this read mode you can use these properties like textile margin top horizontal align colors and corner radius width and colors to you to design this read mode more button and this is the separator this is for horizontal separator and vertical separator you can use this also and this is the pagination if i deselect this pagination then it uh, it is not displaying if i select this then this page display pagination options is displayed so so if i go to the manage option so if i go to the man if i click on manage option this block contain mode will be open so here in this block contain mode you will ma you will get the options to manage this manage the posts so these two posts are default post you if you want to add new post you have option here to add new post and here this is the option for block pages so you can attach you can upload any post from here new post or you can delete uh, other post you have options available to delete post to preview mode or to pin post to top from here or you can edit the particular pro post from here and this is how you can use this blog element to your website thank you